Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this week's stream. Round 13, round the Hungara ring for tier two. Around this beautiful little 16 corner circuit here. And underway is short qualifying. Everybody out on their, on their outlaps right now, or they're either in the pits just looking at the weather, getting their setups ready. And so far we see a few guys in the track, all on this little train right now. They can find some gaps for each other so they don't impede their laps. See quite a few people out on mediums. Mediums are a very good race tire around here. If you can get yourself in the top 10, a good position on the mediums, then it'll be a one stop onto the hards for the race. It's the ideal strategy. But it is difficult to pull off. The softs are quite quick for one lap here. As our first flying lap here, riding on board with Bascom, heading down into turn one. Getting a ride up against the curb quite nicely, avoiding the curb on the left hand side, very good. Not getting a very good run onto this long, long straight. And this is where all the time comes from in the lap. You have to be very careful to not hit the curve on the right over there. That will instantly spin you. It's a death curve. Over here through the chicane. Very easy to invalidate your time if you get on the curving a little bit too much. The section that goes, that extends up a little bit. Barreling down into the third sector here. He misses the curve on the right. Not getting too good of a run there. You want to go right up against it. Getting a little bit of wheel spin out of that corner here. Coming out of turn 16 for the first flying lap of the day. Coming across the line, what can he get? He gets a 115.7. Setting time for now. He's right on board with the center here. My stroke goes P1 with a 114.4. With and he invalidates his lap right there. Very easy also to invalidate your lap on the corner that he just went through. You have to keep your speed up and just send it through. There's a little bit of a blind corner. And unfortunately, he just overstepped just a little bit. His teammate also invalidated his lap. A lot of invalidations. Going on board with Luki here. This is the first part of the chicane. It's out on the softs here. I feel like most of these drivers are going to migrate, or most of the medium runners are going to migrate over to the softs. I just don't believe there's enough people out on the mediums right now to, to make it a viable strategy. This track is difficult to pass at. There's definitely opportunities, but one of the more difficult tracks to overtake at, that's for sure. Now watching Lugie coming out of turn 16, coming across the line with no ERS. He jumps to P2. Very good lap. The 115.6, oh my goodness, my server is going really fast. Almost a second clear, actually over a second clear, my server over the field right now. Echo out on the mediums right here. Looking to hopefully have a good day in qualifying. These last few races haven't been so good for him. Actually, Britain was pretty decent for him, but to get back to Austria, not too much fun. He cuts turn six right there. Another invalidation. Or 
of drivers in the pits. A lot of guys in the pit lane right now. GB out on medium saying he's going to invalidate his lap. He was going to purple in sector one. A lot of these guys are invalidating here, making me nervous for the tier one race. And this race too, in the actual event itself, how many penalties will these guys rack up? You know, my comment earlier about I don't think that there'll be enough guys on the mediums. Looking at it now, there are a lot of guys in the mediums. Now, obviously all the soft guys are ahead of them that have set laps, but in the medium times, they do differ quite a bit from the sauce, of course. See, Maestro, a second ahead of Lugie there, but in the race, the mediums are above and beyond quicker. Latin are taking it very easy through the chicane there. Very smooth and gentle with this throttle application. Using quite a bit of brake there. On purple in sector two, the game's lying to us. No way he beat out Maestro's time. Still looks to be a very smooth, solid lap here from Platinum. See what he, what he can get coming out of turn 16. Coming across the line, he goes P6 with the 117 flat. Solid lap, solid lap. Just over 10 minutes to go in the session. So we have Krav on the mediums here going, going for, the, for another lap. He's won the last two races, just dominated Britain in the wet. Looking to continue his streak. Doesn't get the best of runs out of turn one. Getting up on the curb, that's going to lose him quite a bit of time. With the speed that he has, I'm sure that he can make up for it. This car is getting not out of the way quite nicely. Good to see. As he's going to lose the car, and he's going to absolutely destroy his front wing. He just holds the brake, letting everybody go through here. Not seeing too many people spin, and he's going to cut the death curb. The car does get decently light through turn 6, but not really light enough to spin. I guess this setup's just, um, I'd say I have to, uh, have to be very light on the rear end. Either that or he just jerked the car too much, went too aggressive on the steering wheel. Fortunate from him, I think he's going to have to come into the pits and just forget about the mediums, go out on the softs, going to compromise his race strategy. Speaking of softs, yeah, a lot of guys in the top 10 going out on softs. Watching Jamie here on the soft tires. Still yet to set a lap, hopefully he doesn't invalidate here. I don't think there's going to be a much risk of that. Heading through the final few corners. Now into turn 16. Very low on fuel here, you see the fuel indicator light coming across the line. He goes P5 with the 116.1. Good lap Jamie, good lap. Let's see what Bone Apple T can do. Coming in P5, taking Jamie's spot. Dropping down to P6 because, what was that, 10 old dollars? Yes, 10 old dollars in P3 on the mediums. You know how quick he is, our championship leader. Very good time on the mediums. This Knox invalidates this time right here. Is he gonna go for another one? No, he's gonna dive into the pits. Dubsy with the invalidation on the mediums. And a lot of these guys are invalidating here. I have to believe he was just on a in lap though.
Ask him. Oh my goodness. He goes P1 with a 114.4. Just barely nudging ahead of Meister here. Both the drivers on the soft tires. Bascom with a lot of speed this weekend. Very nice to see from him. G, G, my boy. He's riding along with AJ here. Still yet to set a time. Caught the few drivers. Still yet to set a time. Approaching six minutes left in the session. Out on the mediums here, still trying to make the mediums work. Getting a good run through turn one. Hugging the apex nice and tight. Gets a squirmy run through those set of corners, so they're not going to help his lap time, that's for certain. Heading into turn six, you see a little bit of traffic up ahead. Hopefully that doesn't get in the way. Bone Apple T, the Williams driver, and he gets out of the way very nicely. AJ misses the entry of the chicane there a little bit. Getting up on the curbing there, that's interesting to see. Quite a bit of off throttle time. Some Dubsy retires. Now into turn 15. Not a good run through there. Quite a bit of wheel spin from AJ. The terrible traction zone 15, but through 16 and runs out a little bit wide. All the time is being lost here. Coming across the line, he's gonna go P11. Just missing the top 10 by three tenths of a second with a 117.3, almost a four. He gets shuffled back even more. Probably with another invalidation here. Trying again on the mediums. And he really wants this medium strategy to work, but already spinning on those tires. It's still going to be great compared to the softs, but I don't know. Nevertheless, going for a second lap here. With the amount of speed that he has, he just needs to get a good, solid, clean lap in. His time is running out. Heading into turn six now. Let's see if we can keep the car in one piece this time. Up into eighth gear. Dropping it into seventh. Makes it clean. Good for him. Jamie Nigi getting out of the way. Good job. Pretty smooth through these set of corners right here. Looking like a very good lap from him. Game says purple in sector two, but I don't buy that. Through turn 15 now. Short shifting into third, through 16. Nice and tight against the wall. Almost a little bit too tight against the wall. To the start, finish straight, and he goes P6 with the 115.7. I don't think he's gonna be happy with that. I don't know if he's if he's gonna go for a run on the softs here. Track position's important and the mediums are great, but, I mean, you see $10 in P4. He's going out for another lap on the mediums. That's interesting, two flying laps on mediums. Riding along with Jamie. And he's gonna hit the death curb and spin out. Ah, uh, that's not good. And he goes into the wall just for good measure. Ah, uh, there's a car coming up. That's gonna be four, total 420. Just above two minutes left to go in the session. All these guys coming out for their last laps. Still three drivers yet to set a time. GB invalidates again. 
near center. Out on presumably the last lap of the session for him. Just needs to get a clean run in. It'd be terrible to start last. Especially around this track. Out on the soft tires here. It's a nice run through that corner right up on the curbing on the left hand side. It's a turn 15 now. Be nice and easy with the throttle. He is. Good job. Coming out of the last corner. Let's see what kind of launch he can get. Coming to the line. He goes. What? He goes P1? Stenner, great job, buddy, with a 114.3. Holy cow. See a lot of our top guys here coming out on final laps with Stenner. P1. It's the only good lap in the session. My God. Great job, buddy. Riding along here with Ultra Titan. P4 with a little bit of a lock up there. Had very good races in France and Canada. Forms dropped off just a little bit, but still doing very well. He goes quicker by a tenth in his first sector. It's a good run through this chicane. Very smooth driving from Titan here. Being nice and easy, only doing what the car will allow. It's important around this track, even though there's a lot of downforce with the setups. Still quite a bit of understeer through a lot of these corners. He goes almost four tenths quicker in the second sector with the purple second sector. Track getting better and better as the clock runs out here for qualifying. Runs out wide in 16. Now let's see what he can do coming across the line. Where is he going to go? He's only going to go P4 with a 114.7. Ten old dollars here. I think he's done. No, I think I know he's done. Just wonder if this the AI, if, uh, the AI taking control for him in P6. That's not going to be good for him. As Meister is coming through now into the third sector. And he's going to spin. Ooh. Ah, uh, the car just got away from him and completely losing his wing as those Alfa Romeo in the middle of the track just spinning. I wonder if that distracted him, maybe spooked him. It was actually Bascom, I believe. Bascom didn't do anything particularly wrong, but I mean, I don't know why he was spinning in the first place. Just Sanders invalidated there. That's it for qualifying. Well, there you go. With GB and Knox not being able to set the time here. Actually, no, Knox is still going for here. Going very wide into 15. At least this time he didn't invalidate, though. So good for him, but lap time being over two minutes long. Another weekend not going too well for him. As, yeah. That's it right there. Sarah pole position there right at the end of the session for 114.3. Just an amazing lap from him. Bascom in P2. Maestro in P3. Maestro had held, held pole position for a very long time. But just got beat out. Ultra Titan P4. Just Sanders rounding out the top five. The top five all on mediums here with the first... Or all on softs, my mistake. With the first medium runner being 10 whole dollars. Even though he's further back than he's accustomed to, the mediums are very, very, very strong in the race. And there's the lineup you can see. Bascom and Stenner are very close on time here. And then the field starts to separate out. The top three, only by a tenth and a half, the separation. Very quick, very, very quick from these guys. A lot of these drivers out on the mediums, just trying to make that strategy work, but fortunately it did not. Let's look at the race director here to see how many corner cuttings there were. Track extensions. Eh, not too bad. Not too bad. 
here's the starting order for today's race. Standard P1, Bascom P3, Maestro P3, Titan P4, Sanders P5, $10 P6, Loogie 7, Krob 8, Bone Apple T P9, and Jamie P10. Only three guys on the mediums in the top 10. Even qualify a little lower, especially for dollars Mediums, very easy one stop onto the hards. It is going to be a very, very good strategy for them. Whereas the soft, for the soft runners, minimum two stop. I shouldn't say minimum, but it's better than going onto the softs or the hards. Of course, without a safety car, very possible we can get a safety car here. But in tier two, we haven't got a safety car in quite the while. I actually don't remember the last time we had one. Probably Monaco, or maybe even Baku. But these guys have been keeping it very clean, and that's just nice to see. Now we're just waiting everybody to load in, select their strategies, and ready up. If somebody raises up before AJ Mars, they will get a race ban. We allow our drivers to get about 30 seconds to a minute, minute of time here to just take care of whatever they need to. Strategy, setups, just a little bit of time to relax before we get started with the formation lap. Hello to all the viewers out there watching the stream. Thank you for tuning in. If you got something to say, be active in the chat. I'll be paying attention to it. As Monkey says, lit. Indeed. Monkey, our tier 1 driver here. And an F2 driver. Nice to see him show up in the chat. As Stenner says, active. Alright, he's driving in this race and paying attention to the stream. Good job. Don't do that while driving, though. Not safe. As AJ readies up, we see everybody following his footsteps. The skies are nice and nice and blue. Assume it's going to be a dry race. I haven't got anything from our drivers here, but we don't need to know everything that goes on. What we do know is that these tier 2 drivers are going to put on an amazing show, as they always do. Battles all the way throughout the field. Now just getting on with the formation lap here. Stenner leading the field. Everybody's just warming up their tires, hopefully keeping it clean. Would be silly to get into an incident on the formation lap. Bone Apple T says, keep an eye open into turn one. And he's right about that. Turn one, a lot of incidents can happen on these opening laps. It's probably the best over overtaking spot on the entire circuit. Of course, with the help of DRS, the heavy braking zone. And then another bi a bite of DRS coming out of it. You'll see a lot of action through that part of the track. It's $10 got disqualified. See the compounds that these guys are on. As you see the pit strategy here. Oh, the game actually saying that the soft runners should do a one stop. Alright, interesting. Is everybody from 11th on the back out on the mediums except Dubsy, who's on the hards? Interesting to see from him. Maybe doing a hard to soft. Medium tires, just the OP race tire here. As Stenner's starting to slow down now, get the grid all bunched up so his tires don't get too cold. Doing a little bit of a burnout there. This card says T2 guaranteed rain. Would be interesting to see a dry to wet race for Hungary. But now everybody getting settled onto the grid. Hello to all of our viewers here. Big jump up in viewership. Qualifying the race. Hello, hello. The field's getting set. These cameras are terrible here. Holy cow. Alright, I guess we're just going to have to go on board. As 
as the field is getting settled here for one, two, three, four, five red lights and away we go for the start of the Hungarian Grand Prix as going through the start phase here Stenner getting a great launch off the line here just a little bit further back we see Mercedes taking a little peek by Alfa Romeo going three wide here into turn one very aggressive move from him but he gets the job done as Titan and Maestro now are not Maestro Titan and Alfa Romeo going side by side with a racing point all over the Renault's gearbox here ooh Oh, that's an interesting place to go side by side. Luckily, there was no contact as the field coming into turn six now. Clean getaway from everyone here as the telemetry is just, or not the telemetry, but the scoring monitor here is just messing up like it always does. Good job, Codemasters. As Jamie has had a spin at the back of the field, we're going to pay no attention to that, though. Good luck, Jamie, for the rest of this race. As Stenner has almost pulled out to a two second gap already. Seems like his quality pace was true for race pace too. Absolutely dominating. Of course this is only the first lap of the race. It's coming through turn 16 for the first time. And across the line Stenner. P1. Sanders and P2 and we see a long train of cars here as there's a racing point I'm trying to break the slipstream of Bascom but Bascom's gonna go for the move trying to stick it around the outside of turn one he runs out a little bit wide there he's gonna lose the spot he's not gonna lose the spot he's not gonna get the spot from Maestro and now Maestro's all over the back of Ultra Titan here using the overtake into turn six. Boys, don't tell me you're going to go side by side in turn six. No, you won't. As, and there's contact. I told you not to do it. What did I say? Uh, Maestro spun right on the path of all these cars. Uh, wait until they all go by, and that's a dangerous rejoin. Oh. Luckily, he was ghosted there, but uh, turn six, just not an overtaking place. And now Maestro just spins again. His tires are absolutely on fire. Dolce Titan and Formula, not Formula Maximum, Crawford going side by side now, and I believe. No, he doesn't seem to have a broken front wing. What is going on behind them? Hold, hold on. Why is somebody in the grass? Okay, three wide now. These guys are getting crazy. Looks like Formula Maximum was the one, as we have a virtual safety car now. Formula Maximum was the one in the grass. He's missing an end plate. He's going to dive to the piss there. Lap three, too early to make it work on the hearts. So see a few guys driving, diving to the pits. I assume those are guys that just lost their front wing. Well, dang. All that was caused by Titan and Maestro going side by side in turn six. And then the rest of the field kind of just stacked up throughout the lap. And then something happened behind all of that. Apologies for missing it. We're... Formula Maximum became a, what I call it, a rally car driver, I guess, out on the dirt. Going three wide there, but the race has resumed. On the virtual safety car, and there seems to be a little bit of battle going on back here. No, there isn't. It's just Knox going out a little bit wide there. P15 from 19. Good job from him. As these guys that pitted here are all going onto the hearts. It's center. Almost with the four second lead now over Sanders. At this rate, it doesn't matter what tire he's gonna be on. He's just gonna keep on pulling away. See our first medium runner, Krob in P4. Every lap that goes by, these mediums are gonna become better and better. They're not better and better, but the sauce are just gonna become worse and worse and worse. As Carl 106 says, tut tut, first safety car. Indeed, first safety car. Only a virtual though. Luckily, no retirements from that. That's right, I'm bored here with total 420. Nothing much to look at here. <clears throat> Sorry for the voice crack there. Knox serving a time penalty in the pits, getting a new front wing. Uh, 
as there's a little bit of fighting going on between the two Alfa Romeos. Bascom struggling on the soft tires here. They will be going off now as he actually runs wide. wonder if that'll be a warning for him. It's just Sander, his teammate, sitting right up behind him. He's going to get the DRS here, coming on to the start-finish straight. As Knox picks up a three-second time penalty. We have Krob just breathing down just Sanders' neck right now on the mediums. Just Sanders doesn't get a good run through turn 16. Krob using overtake and DRS right now. Let's see if he's going to take a peek into turn one. He is going to take a peek. He's going to go for the move. Sanders leaves him the space. Fair play. As now he's going to get the DRS. A little bit of wheel spin there. As San Sanders is just going to come across there to block it. But, ooh, that's not good. Aw, oh, Krob. Show some patience, buddy. Uh, that was a bad angle to take into, was it, turn three? But anyways, since the run to turn six now, as, oh god. Krav takes another look down, oh, Lugi left, oh man. Gonna have to send Lugi an invite here really soon. It's Krav just applying all the pressure to Just Sanders, making a little bit of contact here. As he's gonna look down the inside, and he spins Krav, he was just too impatient, man. He, this is not the place to make those kind of moves. All right, we're going to take the time now to get Lugie an invite. All right, invite sent to Lugie. But going back to Krob, just bad moves all around. The move in the turn one, all fair. But then after that, he just was just too impatient. His tires were coming to him. He was going to get the move done sooner or later, but then he just, now he's just ruined his race. Chances to win. Not good to see his $10 dollars gets past just Sanders. Or does he? No, that was, that was just Sanders. Okay, my mistake there. Now going side by side, the Alfa Romeo driver and the Red Bull driver. $10 dollars gets the job done. We see this gaggle of cars here. All on mediums except Sanders. He's just going to get eaten up here. As his tires start to fade. See Echo having a very good race here in P5. Bon Apple T just behind Echo here. It's lap 6. Oh, don't tell me Echo's going to go for it. No, he's going to back out of it. He could have stuck his nose in there for the corner, but he didn't. He just, he knows to wait. Total 420 gets a three second time penalty here. Soon enough, our soft drivers will start to come into the pits here. The game says they'll go on to the hards. We'll see about that as we see just Sanders come into the pit, pit lane now. As the pit window just open. It says medium one stop strategy, no way meters can go to the end here. But he is going to try it. At least I don't think the meters are going to be able to go to the end there. So, just Sanders comes out of the pits and P13 is just going to hold on to it. On to the mediums now. Let's see what kind of pace he has, what kind of time he can make up here. Spell and Apple T gets a three second time penalty. Field starting to spread out a little bit. And look at AJ Mars up in P7. Let's take a look at your position changes here. As AJ up seven positions. Very good race from his ultra time of tires. That's just around turn six. Seems like he has a spin right there. And a safety car, full safety car coming out. Oh boy. Well, this works out very well for Sanders here. Or does it? Lap seven. Too early for the medium guys to pit, ideally, but now now everybody's going to have to come into the pit lane now. See our leader center, he's going to bail out the soft runners for sure. It's an absolute blessing for him. Now the question will be, mediums or hards, which one? Let's find out. It looks like mediums, mediums it is for center. As we see a few drivers pit, a few choose to stay out, Bon Apple T staying out. 
See Bascom go on the horse. Ten old dollars. Now he went out on the horse. Echo was out on the horse, I believe. Yes, he is. AJ choosing the mediums. Zeus behind him choosing the hards. As we see Bone Apple T, GB Sanderson's and Platinum all stay out here on the mediums. Stenner with fresh mediums. I don't know if this is the right strategy from these guys. Wait, GB's on the mediums? I thought once he spun he pitted onto the horse there. Alright, I guess all is wrong is Maestro gets a five second penalty for speeding in the pit lane. And Ultra Titan has left the session. Unlucky from for him. See Dubsy staying out on the horse there. Up into P6. So, mixed strategies right now. Quite a few guys still on mediums. Fresh and old. See quite a few guys out on hard tires now. We'll see at the end of the race which one will prevail. Bone up, or not bone up. See Zeus getting quite aggressive here on the safety car. Runner safety car is just trying to keep his tire temps up. Safety car will come into the pits. I'm going to say around lap 10, lap 11. That would have been a little sort of close to where the medium guys would have stopped onto the hard so I feel like overall if you're on the hard tires your race is going to be looking very good right now this Krav is retired from the race he's called it quits Let's see if he's having a gearbox glitch there of course speaking about Krav here the incident that he had going into I didn't to turn six, but after the chicane into sector two here. Where he just pushed a little bit too hard and then he had a spin. Causing a virtual safety car, of course. As I'm gonna invite Lugie here. I sent Lugie an invite earlier, but I guess it just didn't work. I'm gonna send him just another one here. As Zeus gets a penalty for having a collision, as the safety car is coming in. Now looking at Bone Apple T here controlling the field with GB right behind him. And he's not accelerating yet. He has overtaking gauge. He's going to take him right to the line before he goes. Now he's going to go. Find a little bit of game. There's Echo retires. What is going on with Echo? Did he have an incident? It's right out on the track. GB and Stenner going side by side. Stenner already getting the job done for P2 out on the fresh, fresh mediums. Wasting no time as Bascom gets a five second penalty for ignoring blue flags here. Riding on board with Stenner here going, going after Bone Apple T for P1. Let's jump on board with Maximum and Platinor into turn six here. A little bit of squabbling between those two drivers. Knox in total 420, a little bit of position swap there as Zeus, no not Zeus, as Maestro, oh no, he was having such a good race. Actually, he wasn't having a good race, he had an incident, but his quality, his speed seemed very good, he's just had another spin here. 
Unfortunate to see as AJ picks up a three second time penalty. AJ and Dubsy having a little bit of a swap there. Just Sanders right on the back front of the maximum. Let's jump on board with Sanders here coming out of turn 16. Of course, as you know, he has fresh mediums. His bone apple tea goes defensive with his old mediums using overtake now. No DRS engaged. But job done heading into turn one. Easy as, as it could be for center here. Now he's just going to start to pull away from Bone Apple here. Ten lap old mediums. Not going to be feeling too hot at this stage in the race as Bascom on his hard tires has so jumped to P3. Ten old dollars starts to fall off a little bit. See AJ right on the back of the Sanders. Backed out the move a little bit. He had quite a bit of momentum going, but he decided not to do anything with it. Smart move. As mentioned previously, this track is very hard to overtake as Maximum runs out a wide little bit. Sanders is going down the inside and keeps it they keep it clean. Good job. Very easy for an instant to happen in that corner with a little bit of understeer, but kept his car under control. It's nice to see from our drivers here. As the two Mercedes are starting to go side by side now. Lugie is finally able to get back in. Good to see. I sent him an invite after he lagged out, but I guess it just didn't work. His DRS has been enabled. AJ still pressing Lugie along here. Applying all the pressure that he can while Stanner gets a three second time penalty. Gaps are starting to form now after the safety car. Maximum runs out just a little bit wide there. Sanders applying all the pressure that he can here, trying to force him into a mistake. Jumping on board to some of our leaders here. Ten old dollars after falling back just a little bit. He's starting to close down the gap once again to Bascom. On equal hearts here, both three laps old. Bascom is within DRS range. Using overtake right now, just trying to close the gap to Bone Apple T here. Bone Apple on old mediums, but able to maintain this gap decently well so far. As Sanders in front of the maximum. Swap position. Sanders finally gets the job done. Good move from him. That's what happened to Lugie. Lugie is all over the place. Oh my goodness. And he's, and he's out. He's crashed. He's gone. Suspension out of here. Platinum with the three second penalty and a safety call. What did I just witness? What did we witness? Holy cow! He, he was he was ahead of AJ, and then I jump and I see him in P12, and then he was just out of control, and then right into the side of the Williams here. What happened? Holy moly! Let's see if Maestro just cruising along here. Let's just see four people have retired from this race. We just had a safety car, and now we have another one. I don't think many people will pit here. Bone Apple T has to come in now. Along with Platinor. Both still haven't stopped on the 12 lap old mediums. But, well, that was intense. Lugie not having the best of races so far with his disconnection, of course, but as I was wrong, the leaders are starting to pit. Bascom here, just on the 5 lap old hearts, choosing to pit once again. I don't know about this strategy move. He's serving a penalty going on to the mediums there. It's Carl on Twitch chat says, safety car number three, tough track. I'm betting on a fourth one. I, uh, well, at this rate, I'm not going to disagree with that statement. 
see a lot of drivers now on the hordes here. See a few coming in, all switching onto the hordes, except for the maximum going onto the mediums here. As Zeus gets a 30 second penalty for multiple warnings. Quite silly to pick one up on a safety car here, but not going to judge too hard. As well, wow, fuel starting to bunch up once again. Stenner decided to pit onto the hards here to go on to the end. Drops down to P4, not too big of a loss. Especially with Sanders still on his six lap old mediums. Platinum for some reason deciding not to pit here. 13 lap old mediums, not a good strategy move buddy. You should have pitted, you should have pitted. Ten dollars is gonna jump into the lead here. He stayed out on his hards. Gonna have to agree with that strategy call here. The hards, they're rock solid. Even though it is advantage to have a little bit of fresher rubber, I mean, the time drop off with the hards is not too drastic. They just keep on going and going and going until all of a sudden they don't, and when they don't, that means that they have a puncture most of the time. Since the field's under safety car here, let's look at the race director very quickly as a Alfa Romeo pits. Well, let's get back to that race director here. Quite a few incidents today. Just taking a look through the field. Collision early on. Not seeing too many penalties handed out there. You see one for total for 20. A lot of warnings, but not too many penalties. Just knock some bone apple, we'll pick up a pair. And also tie in retiring from terminal damage. AJ picking up a few warnings in the penalty himself. Lugie, unfortunately, retiring. And Platinum are picking up a three second, and Sanders and Maximum both picking up five for severe collisions. And Maximum gets a five on top of that for speeding in the pit lane. Take another look at our position change here. You can see a big mover in today's race, Dubsy, starting on the hards. Up 12 spots, very good race for him, and Knox from P19 to P8. He had a terrible race last weekend, but now he's just piecing together, keeping his nose clean, or for the most part clean. He did have a front wing change. As we see from the race control, safety car is in this lap. Ten old dollars here, keeping the field bunched up. Letting the safety car just scoot away here. He doesn't want to be right up against it, or else the game will force him to slow down. She's just coming to the standstill here. Coming through the last corner. I wonder if he's kept his hards with enough heat. As he accelerates and the race is underway, back underway. As Ten Old Dollars gets a very good jump going into turn one now. As Stenner's gonna know he isn't, he is! He's gonna absolutely send it like Daniel Ricardo on Platinor there from miles away. Fair play to Platinor for leaving the space. Very nice move from him as there's an incident in the back of the field and total 420 has spun. Jumping back through the field now. GB Sanderson not giving up quite yet. All over the back of AJ heading into turn six. As Jamie the G and Zeus. My mistake for the excitement there. Zeus just pushing Jamie through the chicane. As the Mercedes. Mercedes to AJ has spun. Just having a good race and then just something happened. Missed it, of course. As a pair of drivers behind them are going side by side, the Alfa Romeo and the Williams. As Bone Apple T is going to stick it around the outside, or at least that's what I thought. Bascom still making a challenge. Going through turn 15, absolutely amazing side by side racing there. Through 16, Bascom with a very good move there as Bone Apple. 
gets out on the curb a little bit, and so does Knox up behind it. Almost spun it there, kind of like what Vettel did in 2014 around this track as Maximum and Knox now racing. It's probably the Maximum is going to get the job done as GB. Did he make contact with Knox? Pushing him out of the way? It's Knox just losing all the positions now. GB with some end play damage here. His whole left end plate is gone. So now Knox is getting done again. Or, less, or at least he was momentarily. A little bit of squabbling going on here at the back of the pack, but jumping through back back throughout the field. I see a four car train right here. Headed by Dubsy. Oh, that Platice just lagging around a little bit there. We haven't spoken much of 10 whole dollars this entire race as it's coming out of turn 16 to lead. Out on 8 lap hold uh, hards as DRS is engaged as is there another incident? Also, maybe somebody else spun. Seems like Maximum is spun there. Unfortunate to see. Not losing too much time. These guys just keep on going out it. But actually forget that thought. Jamie and Dubsy and now Bascom. Oh, this is tight. Out on the grass a little bit. Hopefully these boys can keep it clean here. As Jamie's gonna squeeze squeeze the driver, the Alpha Mayo driver is bone apple tees making a little look down the inside. It's these guys once again going side by side. All going single car before turn six, good to see. Well, we've seen today what happens when you try to fit two cars in turn six. As Jamie does not get the best of exits there. And he's going to back out of the move. He's going to back out of the corner, I should say. Bascom being very aggressive here. He feels it's just time to go. Not too much more give and take. Now it's just time to race. He's up ahead. Dubsy gives the place up. 17 lap old horse there. Wonder if he just wants to run his fastest race or what's going on is Bone Apple T and Zeus swap positions. Two Williams drivers on equally, not equally old horse, says Zeus is on nine lap old horse. As these drivers are on the main straight here just trying to break the toe. Everybody having DRS here. Just training each other along. Bone Apple T taking a look at Zeus. As Jamie the G runs out a little bit wide. We're just taking a wider line, I should say. Wider than Zeus was. Now look at our two leaders right here. Ten old dollars versus center is ass as soon as I switched. Who's fun? Jamie the G spun. As soon as I switch to the leader, somebody spins. Come on. <laughs> uh, unfortunate from Jamie. He's actually, he's actually lost a like bit of his front wing. Wonder if there was contact with somebody or or if he just clattered the wall. With AJ taking a little peek at Knox here. Just Sanders getting very close to Meister here. Everything's kicking off at this stage of the race, isn't it? See people spinning, quite a few overtakes here, safety car after safety car. Now this is the battle that I want to look at. Stenner on his fresh hards versus 10 old dollars or 11 lap old hards. Doesn't seem to be able to mount anything here with the help of DRS, just, just slowly applying the pressure. Stenner's been dominant this race. Bascom gets past Ultra Titan here. And Knox runs out wide. Or not Knox, AJ runs out wide. Carrying too much speed into turn one, I presume. Alright, soon. I believe that's the correct word. Shaving into the pits now. Out on medium tires. He's gonna keep on trying here for some points as Maestro. Doesn't get the best of exits. Almost losing the car altogether. It's the 
the leaders have pulled out to a seven second gap to third place Bascom here. Third on back, the fight has been crazy. But looking onto the lead now, Stanner using overtake and DRS. He's gonna go for the move down the inside into turn one. Going side by side now, leaving just enough space. Job complete for now, as he has the help of DRS. And that's job done. Unless Stanner makes a mistake, I believe with the help of his fresher tires, he's just gonna keep on scooting away and away and away. Ten dollars here. Even though he lost out to the lead, our championship leader here. Still gotta believe he's gonna have a very, very good race here. Even though his his tires are quite old, he still has a six and a half second lead back to third place. See see as we see some more position swapping. Sanders getting very close to that curve on the right hand side, the death curve as we call it. It's all over the back of Dubsy here. It's Maestro right behind him. Still battling back. Sanders on his fresh hard tires here, five laps old compared to Dubsy's 20 lap old tires. The start of Dubsy is have got to be going now. I wonder why he didn't pit under the safety car. Says no. Oh, Sanders, what are you doing, buddy? As Meister ends up spinning again. And Sanders just seems to go into W there, kind of push him out of the way. But I mean, I don't believe he would have just done that on purpose. Maybe Meister will end up getting into him, pushing him into Dubsy. It's Platinum and Bone Apple T now going side by side. Platinor on very old mediums here, 21 lap old mediums. He has not stopped yet. Still holding on to P5, but once he has to P, he's just gonna lose all of his track position. Still holding on, doing very good. As Carl says, Platinor needs to pit. I agree with you there, buddy. As some drivers picking up penalties now as, as Zeus has spun into turn six, rejoin the track safely, buddy. Right in the way into Knox here, forcing Knox to go out a little bit wide. A little bit suspect. The stewards are not going to be happy with that. Got to let everybody come through before you come back on the track, man. Quite a few of these guys starting to make mistakes now throughout this race. Penalty, spins, contact with other cars, everything unfolding. And we still have over 10 laps to go here. You've seen battles for the lead. We've seen battles for the... Third place, the third place spot. Battles all throughout the midfield. It's been a great race today. As Echo has left the session here. Tired a while back. Running on board with Meister here. Fresh mediums. Jamie's also on fresh mediums. Jamie spinning, of course, a little bit earlier. Just ride after the safety car restart. They'll be rapid, but... Jamie has a 24 second gap up to Zeus, as Zeus is actually in the pits now. We'll see what these drivers can do out on new tires as... Somebody's going. Yellow flag in sector two. Was it Jamie again? No. Well, whoever it was, not having a good day. Ten old dollars here, just staying on the back of center. Almost within DRS range. Let's see if the game gives it to him. Nope, the game isn't going to give him DRS. Center, absolutely putting on a master class. Taking pole position on his only flying lap. Only lap that he didn't invalidate. Out on the sauce in the safety car blessing for his race where he can get on to better tires better better tires than the softs as there's a Williams at his spot as we see Sanders and GB going side by side Sanderson struggling with that wing damage that he has not giving up though using overtake and DRS taking a little peek there nothing to come for a maximum into the pits now. Mm -hmm. 
as AJ and Dubsy swap positions. Man, Dubsy is going really far on these tires here. Ten laps to go. I mean, gotta assume that he's gonna pit soon. I mean, he was all the way. What was it? P five that he was dropping now down to P nine. He's gonna lose out of spot to Knox when he pits, but he'll still be in a points-paying position. His maximum is just around 23 seconds behind. Longer Dubsy goes, the more time he's gonna lose out. As we have another yellow flag. Nothing much happening there as Platinum finally decides to pit. 23 laps on the mediums. Very long way there. Going on to the soft tires. It's going to be rapid to the end of the race now. As Dubsy continues on for another lap. He still has not pitted. Of course, Formula 1 rules being that you have to make a stop onto a different compound tire there. So if you start on the softs, you can't go back on the softs. Well, you can, but you just... What I'm trying to say is you have to go on a different compound tire. You can't use the same compound tires to finish the race. A.K. starting on softs, hitting to softs, and finishing the race just like that. You can't do that. It's Meister now going side by side before the maximum. Both having fresh tires here. As my or it was Maestro. My bad. It's Knox picks up a three second time penalty. Maestro making a little bit of contact with maximum to the corner. It's turn six now. Right on the back of the limit maximum here. He's still in the point spank position, Meister. Speaking of Meister, he's still in a point spank position. As maximum runs out very wide. But Meister is not going to take advantage of it. It's a very tight corner there. Not a place that you can overtake. Zeus picks up a three second time penalty. Maximum now starting to go all over off track now. Dipping into the grass a little bit as he goes into the grass again. Maestro's gonna have a run at maximum with DRS here onto the main straight. Haven't had telemetry up in a while. Let's get that going. Using overtake now. Just over 30%. DRS, overtake, engaged. Potent combat, uh, combo here. Heading off into turn one. Down the inside. Job done. And he gets uh, another bit of DRS there. Just to complete the to complete the move. Good move from him as Zeus heads into the pits now. Make sure not to speed there. As Zeus has retired in the pits. Good job retiring in the pits there. Retiring on track is a big no no. As riding on board with Stenner here, is starting to pull away from ten old dollars. Two and a half seconds there. Ten just holding on there. Eighteen lap old hards. And have to keep on going. But still with just around a six, uh, six second gap to Bascom here. On those mediums. It's not like the mediums are going to become any better anytime soon. As each lap continues on, the stars are going to start to fall off more and more. Yellow flag in sector one here. Who is that? The car on the right hand side going straight into the wall there. I wonder. Oh uh, no, that's probably just uh, Zeus's AI exiting the pits and then retiring on track. Nothing. Nothing major. Look at Knox and P9. P19, a P9. Very good race from him. 22 laps on the hards, but just sticking with it. Not having a good run through the chicane, though. That's quite the big gap to Dubsy. Dubsy running out a little bit wide there. 11 seconds back, but on those softs, it will be, it will be very close between those two drivers at the end of this race. That's what I assume. Even though the softs are good for about five laps and then they start to fall off, I mean, you gotta imagine that they feel better than 22 lap old hard tires. So yeah, Knox has just dropped off from Platinum here. Platinum just scooting away on with his fresh soft tires. 
four second gap up ahead to AJ. Or no, a 10 second gap to AJ. AJ having a spin earlier in the race, but recovering back to P7, he started P14. He always does this. Qualifying doesn't go too well, but the race pace for him is just great. On those hards, 13 lap old hards. Just going through the field here. Field has spread it out quite the bit in this last safety car here. Or after this last safety car. Gaps just starting to form up. Seen quite the entertaining race today. Multiple safety cars, multiple incidents, quite a bit of battling. So we have another yellow flag, sector three there, but only for a split second. Ten old dollars gets a time penalty. It's Jamie. Jamie has caught four of a maximum. If he can stay within the one second window, he'll have DRS here for this main straight. Just a little bit of wheel spin through 15. Heading now into 16. There's the marker. He will have DRS into the pit straight. A very low ERS though. I don't think he's close enough to make a move. Actually he is, he's gonna send it. Sun Deli send it into turn one. He's gonna get another bite of the cherry here. And he's going to take a peek but not make the move. His maximum runs out wide and Jamie just all over him. Just enough space being left there. Smart move to not continue with, the, with that attack. Just a little bit of contact these days can end your race. Spin there would have just been terrible for him. As BMAR says, go Jamie. Mars will be commentating the tier one race today. Tier one race coming just in about say 40, 50 minutes here. Make sure to tune in for that after the conclusion of this race. After the post race interviews and all that good stuff. The tier one race started very shortly after that. Jamie starting to pull, not pull away, but fall back off of a far on the maximum there. Doesn't have too much ERS to play with here. Just needs to settle back into a rhythm. Got Dubsy now. Just within DRS of Knox. Those fresh softs, what did I say? I didn't think he would catch Knox this quickly as Total gets a three second time penalty, but he has. For the sake of these two, I hope they keep it clean. Whenever the pass happens, it's actually not going to happen as Knox goes up on the death curb and spins. He was having a great race all the way, all the way through the event, just keeping it nice and clean, but he spun. Just needs to take it easy here. These, these tires are going to be feeling terrible after the spin. As he's lost a little bit of his wing, his front right end plate, his maximum picks up a three second penalty. P13. No points for him now. Unfortunate. Just putting together a nice race. He hasn't raced in a while for SSR. He's taking a break, but coming back it was a little bit of a struggle, but now now the now the struggles continue for him. Stanner's pulled out to a four second gap. Ten old dollars here. Ten. Doing very good to hold on with these 22 lap old hearts. <coughs> hearts. GB picks up a three second time penalty. Knox and Total both in the pits now, going on to softs. 
Even though they're not in position to get a point for the fastest lap, they could be taking a point away from somebody for having the fastest lap. Could be valuable in the constructors and the drivers. One point can make a big difference. Jamie picks up a three second penalty. Jamie just staying right there to form the maximum. Making a good recovery drive after spinning earlier in the event. Looking on board with Meister here just within DRS at Dubsy. Dubsy on those fresh softs. Will be pulling away here. Gets a little bit twitchy through the apex of turn one. Allow Meister to pull up right to him. Having very little ERS now. Still, car still seems to be turning well. No, I believe he does have wing damage. Not paying much attention to that going into turn six. Dubsy picks up a three second time penalty. Dubsy seems to be just struggling a little bit under this pressure. The penalties will shake up the order quite a bit. Even though the field is spread out a little bit, I've seen quite a few guys pick up a few penalties here, here and there. As COD Villain is encouraging Knox to keep on pushing here in the chat. As Zeus has left the session. Tiring, of course. Number of laps ago. Now looking on board with Maestro here. DRS overtake engaged. Dubsy going defensive into turn one. To see if Maestro can go around the outside here. Two drivers going side by side. And he's going to get the DRS. Job done for the moment. Dubsy on the fresh sauce. They're only five laps old, but they're starting to fall off now. Soft tires are just terrible around this track. As Maestro gets a little bit taily into turn six, or out of turn six, I should say. So yeah, Dubsy's just struggling right now. I wonder if he has wing damage. No, he doesn't. Just, just the tires falling off, I guess. He's making quite the good charge through, through the field there on his fresh tires, but just now starting to fall back. Almost having no ERS and the fuel indicator light coming up. Spreading out here is Knox. Knox needs to get out of the way here. Just struggling. Don't hold up the leaders. Ghost or not, doesn't matter. Get out the way, Knox. There's a yellow flag. I believe that's total 420. Knox ends up getting out of the way there. Good job. Now coming to the final lap here. Stanner absolutely dominating this race. Pole position, leading the most laps. Just the incredible speed that he's had today. Great to see. Ten old dollars doing what he needs to do after having not a subpar qualifying, but just not up to his standards on those mediums in P6. Right now he seems to be on his way for a P2 there. Just continuing to add more and more points. Maximum gets a three second penalty. Coming up to get lapped by Bascombe. Bascombe in P3 on 20 laps on those mediums. Great job, buddy. So we see how many stops everybody's taking. Stops there for our leader, absolutely dominating the race, like I keep on saying. Coming through, turn 16 for the final time. Swerving back and forth, he's happy, he knows he's won this race. Stenner, P1 in Hungary. 
That's done all dollar that's coming across. P2. Bascom, let's see what these penalties are gonna start looking like now. Bascom just just half a tenth away. Or not half a tenth, five five tenths of a second from being a P2. Bon Appleti, P4. Just Sanders, Alfa Romeo driver, P5. GB. Had to turn 16 here on those hard tires. Coming across the line for P5. AJ, P6, as GB drops to 7th place. Latinor here. A very good race for himself there. P8 for now. He is going to be P8 Maestro. P9 battling back. He's going to just keep that P9 in Dubsy. After doing that mega long stint on the hards, finishes in P10. And Jamie. Ah, uh, Jamie made the pass on Formula Maximum there. I guess that was Formula that ended up spinning. He's happy. And that's it. Race over. Congratulations to Stenner and Jamie. Jamie had his fair share of problems here throughout the race but he kept with it jar of the day GB or in twitch chat whoop, whoop. Uh, these guys are gonna be happy about it you see Stenner doing his dance there P from him let's get drivers in to do a little post race interview but first let's take a look at our finishing order here Ten dollars picking up nine seconds worth of penalties. So I thought the penalties were going to be worse, but not too bad for our top ten drivers here. It's Maestro gets the fastest lap. Quite a few penalties further on down the field. Take a look at the race director here very quickly. Quite a few warnings and penalties here. As for everyone that kept on watching, we know the safety cars that we went through, all the incidents that we had. As we've all, we've sent invites out to our podium finishers here, get them in for a little post-race interview. Once again, a congratulations to Center for P1, ten dollars for another podium spot, P2, and Bascom P3. Bascom, you joined the party. You got me, buddy? You take this. Alright, Bascom, not saying anything for now. None of our podium guys have joined the party, unfortunately. Well, right now, we'll be doing post-race post, post -race interviews, but... Doesn't seem like the drivers nope. are in much mood to talk. Oh, there he is, Bascom. You got me, buddy. You tick the box so everybody in chat can hear you. Yep. All right. Well, P3 did pretty decent in qualifying. Long race here with those safe with those safe cars going quite long on there on your tires. Just how was the race for you? Yeah, worked quite nice. He started on offs, which is difficult in Hungary. That safety help that came at the right time as well. The pit, I think. Um, and then the second one decided to go on the medium to take them to the end, which brought me out, I think, ninth or tenth after the second safety car, um, which gave, gave me some fun battles coming through the field. I had a good battle with Jamie, uh, Williams as well. Um, but the time I got through that, I think, uh, to Sten and, and Ten Outdoors were about eight seconds up the road. So the last 15 minutes or so were quite lucky, but very happy with, with P3, yeah, definitely. Yeah, out on those mediums there for the last uh, for the last portion of the race, right? You were on the mediums there? Yeah, I did 20 laps on the mediums after the second. Yeah, 20 car. laps on the mediums. Yeah, it's just how how were the tires feeling then? You gotta imagine that they're absolutely gone. To be honest, they weren't too bad. I think they're about 65 percent when I crossed the line. Um, I was, the, the couple of laps under the safety car helped quite a bit. Um, but yeah, I just decided that I'd rather take mediums all the way to the end than, than the hards. To be honest, yeah. Um, I had a bit of issues with. Sort of the overlay as well after the first safety car, so um, it was good to come in and pit again and, and fix all that. But yeah, tyres weren't too bad. It was quite easy to get to the end, actually, surprisingly. Not surprisingly, yeah. Well, once again, great race from you. Just congratulations on the much. podium position. Yes. 
All right, good job. All right, now with GB, the driver of the day here. GB, you took the box. You got me? Yep. I can I All right, GB. Well, to be honest, my memory is pretty bad, so I don't really remember what you did this race. But I know that you got driver of the day. Just go through your race with us. Uh, yeah, I kind of basically messed up my qualifying session a bit, where I was on a hot lap and invalidated coming out of the final corner. And that would have put me P5, I think it was. It was quick enough for that, but instead I started from the back of the grid. So I basically just had a bit of a sort of recovery drive through the field and got, well, I got P6 on the line, but AJ beat me on uh, penalties. So I got P7 in the end, but I think that's the only reason I got driver a day for it, to be honest. Well, yeah, just a great race there. I was discussing with, with Bascom here. The safety cars playing a factor into the strategy. What did the safety cars do for you? Uh, stop me having any chance of a podium because I sped under the safety car as well. <laughs> so, so, yeah, I was too busy uh, looking at what tyres I had available to and seeing what everyone else was doing. I just completely forgot to slow down for the Delta. And yes, yeah, so I got a drive through penalty from that, which I think I was P2 under safety car. I think I was behind Bone Apple. And uh, yeah, and then. That's sort of a penalty, so I dropped right to the back again. And then had to, I basically had to climb through the field twice. And yeah, it, it's one that I'm thinking it could have been a podium today if I kept it clean in quality or not got the drive through, but it's, it's points. It's points. Yeah. What well, could have been, man? Your pace was amazing. Congratulations on making your climb throughout the field. Once again, driver of the day, GG. Cheers, GGs. Congrats, Baskin, on the podium as yeah, well. Yeah, drive Thank you. Alright, well, that's going to be it from Safe Space Racing in Tier 2, the Tier 1 stream and race coming up just in around 30 minutes here. Make sure to tune in from, for that. Absolutely amazing race today from our Tier 2 boys. I know Tier 1 is going to do just the same. Once again in 30 minutes. I hope to see all of you guys there. Cheers.